Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate Friedman's uh, related samples rank test in IBM SPSS. So the Friedman's K related samples or a matched samples test is performed when your dependent variable is having at least of a ordinal scale. That means ordinal scale or interval scale or a ratio scale. So that means your dependent variable is measured on ordinal ratio or interval scales. In such scenario, you need to use a Friedman's uh, uh, test for K samples or K related samples or a matched samples. So I'll show this with an example borrowed from a textbook of uh, Mrs. Miller and uh, I'll uh, run the analysis using IBM SPSS, interpret the result and uh, also show you how to frame the hypothesis for Friedman's test. So when your data uh, come from K matched samples or in at least an ordinal scale. So when you're saying that at least an ordinal scale, this will also accept your uh, interval as well as a ratio scales. So that the Friedman two-way analysis of variance by ranks is useful for testing the null hypothesis that K samples have been drawn from the same population. So when you are uh, matched samples, that is the K matched samples, when we say that K matched samples, three or more. So in that case, we call this as a K matched samples. That is your uh, independent variable. And if your dependent variable is measured on at least of ordinal scale, interval scale or ratio scale, then you need to run a Friedman's test for K related samples. So that a Friedman test is a non-parametric alternative to the one way analysis of a variance. ANOVA is your an analysis of a variance with the repeated measures. It is used to test for the differences between uh, groups when the dependent variable being measured is ordinal. It can also be useful for a continuous uh, data that has violated the assumptions necessary to run one-way analysis. So in case of a one-way analysis, we make certain assumptions related to the normality of the data. So if data is not normally distributed, then uh, as an alternative to analysis of variance, we can run a Friedman's test for K-related samples. Here, uh, in case of uh, Friedman's test for K-related samples, the assumptions that we make are that one group that is measured on three or more different occasions. So one group is measured on three or more different occasions. Then a group is a random sample from the population. Then your dependent variable should be measured at the ordinal or a continuous level and samples do not need to be normally distributed. So if samples are normally distributed, then you can go for a analysis of a variance or ANOVA test. If they are not uh, normally distributed, then easily you can run a Friedman's uh, test. So here in case of a Friedman's test, the, the hypothesis that we frame here is that the null hypothesis is that there is no statistically significant difference in the median scores among the groups because the Friedman's is a rank test so this is based on a median scores of the responses an alternative hypothesis is that the median scores are different now if uh, you retain the null hypothesis retain null hypothesis that means there is no statistically significant difference null hypothesis then no need to do any follow-up test suppose if there are differences then when you are rejecting null hypothesis rejecting null hypothesis, then you need to perform a follow-up test to know which two groups are different from others. So to run a follow-up test, normally we use a Wilcoxon paid ranks test for a two independent, sorry, two related samples. Now here uh, we have an uh, example. An American history teacher uh, believes that the test scores in history can be improved by giving students an opportunity to learn through more than a lecture method so here they have more than lecture methods so the methods are three here method one method two and method three and students that is your uh, respondents are 17 so your sample size is small that is one reason for going for a non-parametric test and uh, the uh, fragments test and second one is that you have a three different methods and which is not normally distributed another one and these are measured on an ordinal scale so in a method one uh, method 1 is a simple lecture of an entire 30-minute uh, class period. Then method 2 consists 25-minute lecture. 
and then method three consists uh, film followed by a small group discussion. Now, after the analysis, the instructor rated the students by giving a quiz, all right, a scored on a scale of one to twenty. So the data for this is uh, presented in an uh, SPSS. I'll uh, show you the SPSS data sheet here. So here we have an SPSS uh, data sheet. Now to run a Friedman's test, you need to go to analyze from a menu command. So here analyze from analyze, click on a non-parametric test and from non-parametrics choose uh, legacy dialogues. And now from the drop down menu of a legacy dialogues, go to K related samples. So here you have a K related samples. Now here you have a three methods, lecture methods, select all the three by holding a control and uh, A, then send them to the test variable. And here by default type test type is Friedman's test. So uh, retain this one, then go to exact. And here in exact, select the exact, click continue. Then finally click OK. So here is the uh, result. Now the mean ranks of a lecture is 1.47. Lecture plus film is 2.09. Film followed by the discussion is 2.44. And n total number of respondents are 17. The chi-square value is 8.45. And degrees of freedom is 3. That is uh, 3 minus 1. Then exact significance value is 0 0.01, which is less than 0 0.05. This indicates that you are rejecting the null hypothesis. So when you're rejecting a null hypothesis, this clearly indicates that there is a difference in the opinions expressed by uh, individuals of a different groups. So here you are uh, rejecting the null hypothesis, saying that the median scores are different. So when the median scores are different, then you need to perform an, uh, a follow-up test. So in this case, the follow-up test is Wilcoxon paid ranks test. So in case of a paid rank test, what is it you do is, now you have a, uh, three groups. So you have to make a comparison between method one and method two, then another comparison between method two and uh, method three, and another comparison between method one and method three. So you have to run a three different uh, paid tests using a Wilcoxon paid test so that you will be knowing which two groups are different. Then based on that, you will be able to choose or you will be able to decide which is the appropriate teaching method for the students. Either it is a simple lecture method or a lecture method followed by a film or finally a film followed by a group discussion. Among these three, which is going to be an effective one, you will be knowing uh, by running a, a Wilcoxon paid rank test. But uh, this uh, uh, Friedman's analysis test simply tells you that, so the opinions expressed uh, by are, are related to the three different groups are different that is three different teaching methods are different but which is the effective method you will not be knowing so for that run a wilcoxon signed rank test so this is how you need to calculate the friedman's uh, ranks test for k related samples and frame the hypothesis and analyze the results thank you thank you for listening to the lecture